Two things come to mind when I think about Iowa, corn and more corn. Certainly not saltwater aquariums, but going on amongst all these cornfields is Magna 2011. They have spiders in Iowa, evidenced by our granddaddy long leg friend here. Hey, little dude. Perfect fish food. Most saltwater trade shows are about rolling out new gear, but today at Magna, they're rolling out a new type of clownfish. In other words, livestock. Check this out. This is a tangerine clownfish. Now, what makes them unique? Well, he's got a red eye, and he's got almost no black on his body. You can see he's only got a little bit of black there on his caudal fins. So most Oslerus clownfish have black over their fins, around their bars. The tangerine has almost none. And you also notice that tangerine is a single color of this orange. It's kind of a lighter orange. If you look at a normal Oslerus, they're going to be dark orange atop and going to the lighter orange. Tangerine, light orange all over. The tangerine is being bred exclusively by Pro Aquatics in Florida. So if you want to get your hands on a tangerine clown, ask your local fish store, get in touch with Pro Aquatics, and get some in for you. One of the best parts about walking around Magna was all the people I got to talk to. And of course, I ran into a familiar face. You've seen Dr. Tim Aquatics on Mr. Saltwater Tank TV with their one and only nitrifying bacteria. And today, of all things for them to roll out, they're rolling out what looks like to be bio pellets. Now, Dr. Tim, I see lots of these all over the place. What makes these pellets different from anything else I see? Well, Mark, bio pellets have been out on the market maybe three years, two years, very popular. But there's always been questions because nobody knew what the actual material was. Nobody knew where they were made. Nobody was told who made them. And with ours, we've answered all those. Our bio pellets are, which we call NP active pearls, okay. are made right here in Iowa by a company called TELUS. In Iowa. In Iowa. Of all a, places a, right a, here. All, because they're made from corn sugar. And where can you find corn? That was the next thing I was going <laughs> to say. Is it made of corn? It is made of corn sugar. So uh, the <clears throat> material, it, it's made, like I said, by TELUS. We tell you the manufacturer in Clinton, Iowa. Then it's PHA. That's the polymer. We tell you what type of polymer it is. And it's 100% pure. Others have mixed polymers. Ours are also, there's no binders, there's no fillers, there's nothing else in there. What does that mean for me with my reef tank? Well, you're getting an absolutely purified, 100% biodegradable polymer. So just this, no junk. Other polymers or other bio pellets that are on the market can be up to 30 to 40% of the, quote, junk, the binders and the pellets. So if junk gets in my tank and doesn't break down, got to go somewhere. Well, it's got to go somewhere, and you don't actually know what all that junk is because there's fillers, there's mineral bases, and there's things like that. It can go into your corals, it can gunk up your protein skimmer. It's just waste, and you're paying for that. With mm -hmm. us, you're paying for 100% pure product. You're actually going to get more carbon per pellet or more carbon per dollar, too, so it's going to last longer. So these MP active pellets are right aligned with what I tell people. We're not risking our thousand dollar reef tank putting something we don't know what in our tank and at the same time we're getting a lot of bang for our buck because these have more carbon which means they're going to grow more bacteria. Exactly and that's what we stand for. I'm not going to sell you something that's going to have any risk of ruining a display. How could you do that? It makes no <laughs> sense. Great. Looks great. Thanks. I've been thinking about going to bio pellets. This is my answer. I believe it will work out great for you. Okay, I've seen Dr. Tim before but I wondered where are all the international visitors? The great things about fish trade shows is you get to meet people from all over the world. I'm here with Adnan who came from Saudi Arabia just yeah. to be here at Magna. Give us an idea of what it's like having a saltwater tank in Saudi Arabia. Well, in Saudi Arabia it is absolutely a very difficult hobby to do. Uh, we have very few fish stores who bring stuff for reefers, for saltwater keepers. And we are buying everything online from USA. We 
buy something for 10 bucks, we pay 50 bucks for shipping. Wow. Uh, it is absolutely a very difficult hobby, but we are addicts. We love the hobby. <laughs> sure. And that's how we came to know about Macna. We know you there. Huh? We know Mr. Swarpwater Tank. And that's how we are here. So how much of the stuff that you see here have you seen in a fish store in Saudi Arabia? I, I would say I have seen like 5% of the things I've seen here. Really? Uh, That's 95%. it. 95%. The rest is all new. 95% I've seen online on websites. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of, I mean, do people keep corals there? I'm completely ignorant, so give me an idea um, what kind of tanks you're seeing. There are only a few hobbyists which we know each other. Okay. And it's very hard to get, import corals there. We have a lot of restrictions there. <clears throat> we are getting the corals from the neighboring countries, from mm -hmm. Kuwait, from Bahrain, from Qatar, or wherever we know there is a coral. <laughs> we go there. We get frags, we share frags, and that's how we are doing it there. And I imagine it's a pretty good market for you then if you can grow out a coral and frag it and sell it. Cause Certainly, it is becoming, the uh, hobby is growing there, and we are spreading the awareness as hobbyists there, and I hope that I'm going to start a club there very soon. So I gotta ask, how full is your suitcase of just fish gear when you go home? I believe 20 kgs. <laughs> and you said I think earlier that you have one whole bag just for fish. I brought care. an empty suitcase empty for shopping. Suitcase yeah. just for fish care. Well, good. We'll stock up on some great stuff. Yeah. Thanks for stopping in, saying hi. It's so certainly much. a long way to come for a fish show. Welcome certainly. to the U.S. And uh, there's plenty of good stuff here. Hopefully, to with you. see you at Macna 2012. I'll be there. And if you ever want me to come to Saudi Arabia, for sure. I'm sure they can arrange that. <laughs> for sure. Thanks, Adon. Thank you. Bye. Wow, Saudi Arabia. That's impressive. Speaking of impressive, the sexy tank needs some sprucing up, and I knew just where to turn to find what I was looking for. Ike, this looks familiar. Yes. But not familiar. This is the new Panorama LED fixture. Okay. Uh, you can see it's much sleeker, much thinner, lower profile. It's exactly half. Thinner, more sexy. Thinner, more sexy, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Much more lighter weight. It's actually half the weight. Wow. Um, so very, very lightweight. And it looks different under here, too. Yes. Am I seeing some screws here? You are. Because I'm assuming that I can move these around. Yep. So the whole fixture is completely modular. OK. It uses our Panorama Pro modules. Which are great. The Pro modules can be slid left to right. Um, you can actually, in the 18-inch fixture, you know, add three more modules. So, so um, I can have six modules in the 18-inch. You could actually have seven modules seven. in the 18-inch, yeah. <laughs> plenty if of light. If you want to. It's plenty of light, absolutely. Okay. But that's the whole point of the fixture. It's very modular, very right. simple to Just upgrade if you need more light. Okay. Um, very simple if you want to add a different color spectrum. So we have five different color spectrums on the modules, plus the RGB, which lets you choose any spectrum you really want. You just hit the button and it does it. Fades in and out. You can increase, decrease, everything. OK. And since I can slide them, if I like I have a piece of coral here that I want the magenta over, I can just slide it over and get it exactly Absolutely. Right you can slide them over. If you have a center brace in your tank and you get a larger fixture, this allows you to avoid that center brace. So you can really that. focus that light where you need it versus just having it spread everywhere. Very easy to control. It actually comes with a manual controller, so you can actually dim the lights up and down manually, turn them on and off. Dim them like this? Yeah, manual controller. Yep, it comes yeah, can, with it. For individual things? Uh, for Yeah, it depends on how you configure it, but yeah, it comes with two manual dimmers, so you could have your dim your blue lights, dim your white lights, do the whole dawn dust control. Or and potentially control it with a like Apex Junior controller sure. as well. We wanted to uh, include the, the dimmer so that if you need to acclimate your corals, especially with the white modules, they're pretty bright, yep. you can slowly acclimate your corals to the LEDs versus just having it full bulk blown on and off. And you just slide it and turn it? Just manually turn it, yep. Very easy to do, very simple. And even if I wanted to keep my old Panorama Pro modules, the old Panorama they modules. They all fit in here. Fit it's in all here. universal. So I'm not hosed even if I have the old stuff. Correct. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a modular approach that I love. Mm -hmm. Now this is great for kind of average aquariums. I'm seeing something over here that looks like a cannon. I'm guessing yeah. that's something for big boys. Correct. Yeah. Let's go have a look at that. Sure. Ike, this, uh, this looks like a 50 watt, but it's bigger. Yes, this is actually 120 watts. 120, 120 watt cannon. <laughs> it's new. OK. And uh, then, you can see it's a lot lighter weight. Yeah. Um, much lighter weight. It weighs about six pounds. That's it. That's it. For this beast of a thing is six pounds. Six pounds. Now, what's all this 
piping, tubing looking stuff so, I've seen in there. This is the same technology they use for computer chips because um, your LED is very close to a computer chip. It's a heat pipe inside of it. Okay. So it actually helps with the, um, the thermal load of the heat and it radiates off the aluminum here and you can feel it. It's just warm. It's not even very hot. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's warm. It actually mm -hmm. feels good in this so cold So it's been room. running all day, just warm to the touch. There's no cooling fan, nothing to suck up salt creep or anything. Hmm. Very basic technology. So this is something for large public aquariums, big tanks, guys who want focused light. Deep penetration, yeah. We'll sell it in three different color spectrums, but yeah, these are mostly for big tanks who need, they're where they need a lot of penetration. What kind of pour are you getting on this thing? Uh, it depends on how close you get it, but um, it won't even register on a par meter till you're about 24 inches away. Because it blows it off the charts. It blows it off the charts, absolutely. <laughs> That's why you call it a can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, as usual, you guys are doing great things with giving people options, giving them what they want. It's modular, which is what I preach. Mm -hmm. And I think you also said earlier, you've dropped the price yes. on the Panorama Pro modules. Yes, the price on the modules, the price on the fixtures. It's becoming very affordable for hobbyists. Half, I think, half the cost now. Almost half, yeah. The, the fixtures are three ninety nine versus six forty nine, so and, less, a lot less expensive. And you can always add on if you want it. Absolutely, completely modular. That's why you guys had the sexy tank. That's why the stuff's over there. I look forward to see all the new stuff before. All right, thanks, Mark. Thanks, man. With all the new faces, it's always nice to run into a neighbor of yours as well. Tunsley by far makes the best and the most top of the line auto top off system on the market. And today, they're making it even better. And I'm here with Roger, who's gonna show me how you've taken a great product and made it even better. Well, what we've done, one of the more popular aquarium sizes now are nanos. And one problem with the old Osmolator was that a nano aquarium, you had, uh, the pump would run too strong and the tank would top off too fast and potentially trip the overfill alarm. And the old advice was get a small valve and cut back the flow. Well, now we've made that electronic and you can open the controller and turn down the power of the pump. The other reasons you might want to do that is if you were dosing caulk, this allows you to adjust the power of the pump to slow or increase the dosage rate. And you can also turn it down if noise is an issue. The slower the pump runs, the quieter the pump is. Uh, otherwise, we've made some small changes used to be you needed a screwdriver to connect the pump. Now we have new clips that you just squeeze the clip, insert the pump wires, and you're done. And then the uh, power connection is more sealed and more recessed, so water damage is reduced. So you've taken, <coughs> taken something that I think is great and maybe even better. That, that's pretty much what we do. We're always tweaking everything we do. We're always trying to make it that much better. Speaking of tweaking, I know we've talked earlier this year about the 6095. Yeah. I'm seeing it over here, your shoulder. Show it to me, because now sure. I'm going to see it in the flesh. This is the new 6095. It has a wide flow housing. Uh, it does about 2,400 gallons an hour and has a larger propeller. Uh, the motor's redesigned to accommodate the bigger propeller and the bigger or the higher speed. And what kind of flow are we getting off of this pump? Sure. It's about uh, three feet in reach by about, uh, oh, probably two and a half feet in diameter. Due to the wider nozzle. Right. And then how many gallons per hour? It's uh, about 2,400 gallons an hour. And controllable? Controllable. Uh, price point will be about $260. That includes the magnet holder. You can pair them up with any of the other controllable models on the same controller. So if you wanted a section with wide flow and a section with focus flow, you can combine 6095 and 6055 or 6105 and 6095. However you want to do it. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> Looks great. Well, thank you. Um...